Okay, everybody, we're going to get started. Well, ladies, a couple of kids. To ask everyone to please turn off your cell phones as well, as well as myself. All the ladies, cover your heads. Hold on, bro. Okay, we all want everybody to stand and face Jerusalem. By the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. Were the heavens made. Were the heavens made. And all the hosts of them. And all the hosts of them. By the breath of his mouth. By the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters. He gathered the waters. Of the sea together. Of the sea together. As an heap. As an heap. He laid up the depth. He laid up the depth. In storehouses. In storehouses. Let all the earth fear. Let all the earth fear. The Lord. The Lord. Let all the inhabitants. Let all the inhabitants. Of the world stand in awe of him. Of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake. For he spake. And it was done. And it was done. He commanded. He commanded. And it stood fast. And it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen. To not. To not. He maketh the devices. He maketh the devices. Of the people of none effect. Of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart. The thoughts of his heart. To all generations. To all generations. Blessed is the nation. Blessed is the nation. Whose God is the Lord. Whose God is the Lord. And the people. And the people. Whom he hath chosen. Whom he hath chosen. For his inheritance. For his inheritance. For his own inheritance. For his own inheritance. My songs was taken from... Chapter 33, verse 6 through 12. May the Lord add a blessing of the reading, hearing, as well as doing of his word. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Israel's Church of Living God. I'm Brother Rodney and Brother Caleb will be reading today. We'll be doing a lesson today entitled simply, The Apostles. The Apostles. Okay, because, you know, most people think that we as Israelites, we don't deal with the New Testament. You know, <laughs> well, that's all y'all deal with is the Old Testament. Well, no, we deal with the New Testament as well as the Old Testament. And we do believe the writings and the teachings of the apostles because the apostles, they got it from the prophets. Because that's the only books that they had were the prophets. They testified of what the prophets said. The apostles did. So we're going to start off, though. We're going to start off in John, the first chapter. John 1 and 35. And we're going to pick up four of these apostles right here. Jesus is going to pick out them four apostles right here. John 1 and 35. John 1 and 35. You know, because Peter, you know, he even told, he said, uh, we have a more sure word of prophecy. Because that's where they got it from. That's where they got their understanding from. The, the prophets, and that's what they taught. But, but all those naysayers that, that think that we don't believe in the New Testament and the apostles and everything, we're going to show you that we do believe in the New Testament and the apostles. John 1 and 35. John 1 and 35. Go ahead and read it. Again, the next day after John stood, and two of his disciples. Uh -huh. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, he saith, Behold, Lamb of God. Uh -huh. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and saw them following and said unto them, uh -huh. What seek ye? Go ahead. They said unto him, Rabbi. Now they, you know, they call him master off the top. Go ahead and read. They said unto him, Rabbi, uh -huh. which is to say, being interpreted, Master, uh -huh. where, where dwelleth thou? And he saith unto them, Come and see. 
They came and saw where he dwelt and abode with him that day. Uh -huh. For it was about the tenth hour. One of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Uh huh. Now this is one of the disciples or one of the apostles right here. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Go ahead and read. Verse 41. Uh huh. He first finded his own brother Simon and saith unto him. Now that's Peter. Go ahead. We have found the Messiah, uh -huh. which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Uh -huh. Thou shalt be called Cephas. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which means stone. That's what Cephas means, stone. But go ahead and read. Which is by interpretation a stone. Uh -huh. The day following Jesus would go forth into Galilee. And find a Philip and said unto him, Follow me. Uh huh. Now Philip was Bethsaida, Bethsaida, the city of Andrew. Uh huh. Now this, now he got three disciples right here, right? Now Jesus would go forth unto Galilee and find a Philip and said unto him, Follow me. Go ahead and read. The city of Andrew and Peter. Uh huh. Philip find a Nathaniel and now, said unto now, him. Now he said he find a Nathaniel. Now this is the fourth. Apostle right here that he found. Nathaniel, Bartholomew, same person. Okay? Because we're going to read the 12 uh, apostles in a, sec in a minute here. And then when you see Nathaniel, then that's, uh, Nat um, when you see Bartholomew, that's Nathaniel. Rarely do you hear any lessons about the apostles. But today you're going to hear a lesson about the apostles today. We go ahead and read, though. Yes, sir. Back at 45. Uh-huh. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have found him of uh -huh. whom Moses in the law and the prophet did write, uh -huh. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. Go ahead. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and saith unto him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Go ahead. Nathanael said unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast was the fig tree. Under the fig tree. Excuse me. When thou wast under the fig tree, uh -huh. I saw thee. He said before, you know, Nathanael said unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. Go ahead and read. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Now, now look at what they said. He said, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. First they called him Christ, then they called him the son of God. So they know who he was. Just like they was waiting on him, we waiting on him now. Hallelujah. We're waiting on and he hasn't arrived yet because when he does arrive, all hell would have broken loose on this earth. <laughs> but they were waiting on him just like we waiting on him. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree. Uh -huh. Believeth thou, thou shalt see greater things than this. Go ahead. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Now, so now we got four of the apostles right here, right? We got uh, Andrew, Simon Peter, we got uh, Philip, and we got Nathaniel, which is Bartholomew, right? Let's go pick up a couple more. Uh, let's go to... Uh, Let's go to Luke the fifth chapter. Luke the fifth chapter. Back up to Luke the fifth chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 12. I'm sorry, Luke 5 and 3. Luke 5 and 3. Go ahead and read it. And he entered into one of the ships. Which was Simon's. Uh -huh. and now we're looking at Peter now. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Uh-huh. Now you see the, the, you see that 
Jesus wasn't just walking around, you know, waving everybody and all. He was teaching the people. And he was teaching his apostles. Go ahead and read. Now when he had left speaking, uh -huh. he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. Go ahead. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night uh -huh. and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Now Jesus is doing it just to prove to them who he is. But go ahead and read. Verse 6. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. Uh-huh. And their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners. <laughs> now you see that? <laughs> yeah, they had so many fish, the net was breaking. First they couldn't catch none. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus said, let down your net. So they let their nets down, and then the, the nets start breaking. They had so many fish. And look what else happened. Go ahead. And they beckoned unto their partners, uh -huh. which were in the other ship, Go ahead. that they should come and help them. Uh, they needed help. Go ahead. And they came and filled both the ships uh -huh. so that they began to sink. Now, they had so many fish that the ships began to sink. They began to sink. Go ahead and read, though. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Uh-huh, now, now he know for sure who he is, don't he? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Uh-huh. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. Go ahead. And so was also James and John. Now, now here go a couple of more. James and John, go ahead. The sons of Zebedee. Uh-huh. Which was partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon. Now, because, you know, the, the, the apostles, they were businessmen. They were fishermen. They, this was their, this is the way they uh, earned their money. They had businesses. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from whenceforth thou shalt catch men. Uh-huh. He and, said, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. In other words, you're not going to be fishing for fishes no more. You're going to be fishing for men. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Verse 11. Uh -huh. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. Now look, they gave up their businesses and stopped following Jesus. Yes, sir. Well, we picked up a, two, a couple of more. James and John. That's six right there, ain't it? Let's go now. Let's go to Luke, the sixth chapter, and pick it up at verse 12. Luke 6 and 12. Luke 6 and 12. Go ahead and read. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray uh -huh. and continue all night in prayer to God. Go ahead. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve. And of them he chose twelve. What did he call his disciples? Go ahead. Whom also he named apostles. Whom also he named apostles. Go ahead and read. Now he's going to give you the name of the twelve apostles right here. Go ahead. Simon, uh -huh. whom he also named Peter, Go ahead. and Andrew, his brother, uh -huh. James and John, Philip and Bartholomew. Philip and Bartholomew, that is Nathaniel right there. Go ahead and read. Matthew and Thomas, uh -huh. James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Zeloites. Uh -huh. and Judas. And Judas, go ahead. The brother of James. Uh -huh. And Joseph, and excuse me, and Judas. Issachar, Issachar, Iscariot, Iscariot, uh -huh. which also was the traitor. And Judas Iscariot, which also was the traitor. Rarely do you hear the names of these 12 uh, uh, apostles, do you? Especially Bartholomew, you, you never really hear that name, do you? And the ones that the, the Lord only really deal with or uh, they, uh, that, we, uh, that we hear of is mainly Peter, James, John, Matthew, these are ones that Philip, you know, you don't hear of all the apostles, do you? But the Lord had 12 of them, though, didn't he? Let's go to, uh, let's go, because this is not the first time. First, before we go and, uh, and uh, uh, deal with this 12 again, because this is not the first time 12 men were picked. But before we deal with that, we're going to deal with the apostle. Let's see what the, the word apostle means. Zondervan's Compact Bible Dictionary, Apostle. It says, uh, one sent forth. One sent forth. 
So he is one that is sent there. That's what apostle means. One that is sent. Go ahead and read. A messenger. Uh-huh. One chosen and sent with a special commission as the fully as the fully author authorized, excuse me, representative of the sender. Now, so the apostle is one that is sent. And he is sent with authority too, isn't he? Yes, sir. Let's, but this is not the first time that 12 men were picked. Let's go back to Numbers, the first chapter. Because Moses, that's why the book say uh, Jesus is a prophet like unto Moses. Because the things that Moses did, Jesus did the same thing. Let's go back, though. Let's go back to Numbers, the first chapter. But like I said, uh, this is not the first time that 12 men were picked. Numbers 1, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Numbers 1 and 1. Numbers 1 and 1. Everybody got it? Amen. Go ahead and read it. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, uh -huh. in the tabernacle of the congregation of the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers, uh -huh. which the number of their names, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. Go ahead. From 20 years old and upward. From 20 years old and upward. This one, this one of the things that we use to gauge when the Lord holds a man accountable for himself. But you see what he said, take ye the sum of all the congregation of children of Israel after their families. How many families are there? Twelve, right? Uh, uh, um, everyone at their family by the house of their fathers. So there's 12 uh, captains over each house with the number of their names, every male by their poles from 20 years old and upward. This is how we know, this is one of the ways we gauge this, gauge uh, uh, when a person is grown. Right here, from 20 years old and upward, go ahead. <clears throat> from 20 years old and upward, uh -huh. all that are able to go forth to war in Israel. Because the Lord ain't going to send no child out to war. He's going to send a man. Right? Go ahead and read. Thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. Uh-huh. With you there shall be a man of every tribe. There shall be a man of every tribe. And how many tribes are there? Twelve. Twelve. Go ahead and read. How many apostles did the Lord have? Twelve. Twelve. Go ahead and read. Every one head of the house of his fathers. Uh-huh. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you, of the tribe of Reuben, Eleazar. Now, we ain't going to read all of it, but it's 12, right? Mm -hmm. Skip down to verse uh, uh, 44 and read it. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered, uh -huh. in the princes of Israel, being 12 men. Being 12 men. Just like the Lord had 12 apostles that he picked, didn't he? Go ahead and read. Each one was for, for the house of his father. Each one for the house of his father. Now let's go to Isaiah 8 chapter. Let's go to Isaiah 8 chapter because the Lord had Isaiah to write about these apostles. Yes, sir. Let's go to Isaiah 8 chapter. And we're going to pick it up in verse 16. Isaiah 8 and 16. The apostles were foretold about in Isaiah right here. Isaiah 8 and 16. Isaiah 8 and 16. Everybody got it? Amen. Is everybody comfortable? Okay. Go ahead and read. Bind up the testimony. Uh-huh. Seal the law among my disciples. Wait a minute. Seal the law yes, among sir. my disciples? I thought the law was done away with. No, sir. He said, bind up the testimony. Seal the law amongst my disciples. He didn't say do away with the law amongst my disciples, did he? No, sir. He said seal it up amongst my disciples. And we're going to find out who these disciples he's talking about. Because Isaiah didn't have no disciples. Go ahead and read. 17. Uh-huh. And I will wait upon the Lord that hide of his face from the house of Jacob. Uh-huh. And I will look for him. Behold. I and the children whom the Lord have given me. Stop right there. Now he said, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given me. The children whom the Lord have given me. What about them? Go ahead. Are for signs and for wonders in Israel. They are for signs and for wonders in Israel. Go ahead. From the Lord of hosts. 
which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Uh huh. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, uh -huh. and unto wizards that peep and that mutter. Go ahead, because you know that's a lot of those. Well, I ain't going to even go there. Go ahead, read. Mm -hmm. And that mutter, uh -huh. should not a people seek unto their God? He said, Should not a people seek unto their God? Go ahead. For the living to the dead? Uh huh. To the law and to the testimony. To the law and to the testimony. That's the old book. Or the, or, yeah, the old book and the new book yes. being the testimony, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. To the law and to the testimony, uh -huh. if they speak not according to this word. If they speak not according to this word, what about it? It is because there is no light in them. It is because it is no light in them. See, we, that's why we go light meaning uh, understanding. Hallelujah. That's why we read the Old Testament and the New Testament. Because uh, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them, no understanding in them. But you see what he said, though? He said, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given me are for signs and wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts. Now let's see who these children are. Let's see who these children are. Let's go first. Let's go to John, the 17th chapter. John 17. John 17. And we're going to pick it up at verse 6. John 17 and 6. These children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders in Israel. John 17. And we're going to pick it up at <coughs> verse 6. Verse 6. Go ahead and read it. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Now wait a minute now. He said, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Behold, the children whom thou hast given me are for signs and wonders in Israel. And these are the men we talk about, the apostles, right? Yes, sir. Because these are the ones that were given to the Lord. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Thine they read know. Over. Read that over. Yes, sir. Back in six. Uh huh. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Uh huh. Thine they were. Go ahead. And thou gavest them me. Uh huh. And they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Uh huh. For I have given unto them the words which thou gave of me. Go ahead. And they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. Thou, that thou did what? Send me. Send me. Because Jesus is sent. And remember what the uh, definition of an apostle is, right? Yes, sir. One that is sent, right? Indeed. Go ahead and read. I pray for them. Uh -huh. I pray not for the world. See, Jesus, though, you know, he loved the whole, he loved everybody. Make it plain. He said, I don't pray for the world, but I pray for those whom that you have given me. Go ahead and read. But for them which thou hast given me. Uh huh. For they are thine. Go ahead. And all and all mine are thine. And all mine are thine. Go ahead. And thine are mine. Uh huh. And I am glorified in them. Look at this, the first rap right here. <laughs> Jesus rapping. Indeed. <laughs> Go ahead and read. What verse you at? Eleven. Go ahead. And now I am no more in the world. Uh huh. But these are in the world. Go ahead. And I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. Uh-huh. That they may be one as we are one. That, they that we may are. Be, that they may be one as we are one. Let's go now. Let's go to uh let's go to uh I'll tell you what, skip down to verse uh skip down to verse 16. They are not of the of, of the world, uh -huh. even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Uh -huh. Thy word is truth. Thy word is truth. Go ahead. As thou hast sent me into the world, uh -huh. even so have I also sent them into the world. Uh -huh. And for their sake I sanctify myself. That they also might be sanctified through the truth. That they might be what? Sanctified, sanctified through, through the truth. truth. 
So the Lord sent the apostles, didn't he? These are the ones that was given him. Behold, the children that thou hast given me are for signs and wonders in Israel. Now let's see if the, if the uh, apostles were for signs and wonders. Let's go to Acts, the second chapter. Acts 2. Right on over to Acts, the second chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 41. Acts 2 and 41. Acts 2 and 41. Go ahead and read that. <clears throat> then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Uh-huh. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. He said the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. That's a lot of people, ain't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine uh -huh. and fellowship. Wait a minute now. They continue steadfastly in whose doctrine? The apostles. Well, what doctrine did the apostles have? The doctrine brother of Christ. Christ, brother. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine uh -huh. and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul. Uh-huh. And fear came upon every soul. Go ahead. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Because we're looking for the ones that he said, Behold, the children that thou hast given for signs and wonders in Israel. Right? Yeah. Well, he was talking about the disciples, which are the apostles, wasn't he? Because he said, And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by who? Yeah. The apostles. Because the children that thou hast given me are for signs and wonders in Israel. And this is who he's talking about. The apostles. Read that verse 44. Go ahead. 44. Uh -huh. And all that belief were together uh -huh. and had all things common. And all that believed were together and had all things common. And that's what we all supposed to be doing. Everybody that's calling himself a Christian, that's what we're supposed to have. All things in common. All those people that believe we should have all things in common. We, this, this church should not be teaching this, and this church teaches something else, and this church teaches something else. The apostles didn't do it that way. Come on, brother. They all taught the same thing. Yes, sir. And, and they believed the same thing. And that's what we're supposed to be doing, teaching the same thing and believing the same thing. Yes, sir. Let's go now. Let's go to, because, uh, you know, people act like the apostles had something different. Paul, he got his own dispensation. He got his own doctrine. Come on, man. <laughs> Paul told you to follow me as I follow Christ. And then who the, who the, who the rest of the apostles follow? Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on. Let's, let's make some sense out of this. Let's go to Matthew, the fifth chapter. Matthew 5. Because everybody thinks that we dumb because we call ourselves Israelites. We're supposed to be dumb. <laughs> but one thing about us, though, we can read this book, can't we? Amen. Amen. Better than most people. Matthew 5. And I don't want to sound arrogant and pompous and all of that because it's not about that. But just look. You don't see nobody teaching the word of God like we do. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the other churches and other houses because we do have other churches. All of us are one body. But yes, you don't sir. see nobody yes, teaching, you don't see nobody teaching this word like we do. And we're getting it from the apostles and the prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. We have Matthew 5. We have Matthew 5 and 2. Matthew 5 and 2. Go ahead and read it. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Uh huh, because you know you always hear people say, I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> here's, what, here's what the Lord called blessed right here. Here are those that are blessed. He opened up his mouth. And he taught them, saying, you see what the Lord always teaching, ain't he? Yes, sir. You know, brother, tell me, and man, you always, I'll be on the phone with some brothers, and you always want to teach, man. Well, why not? That's what you need to listen to. <laughs> you need to get taught. That's why I'm always teaching. Go ahead, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, Uh huh. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. Blessed are they that mourn, uh -huh. for they shall be comforted. Do you see anybody he said, blessed are they that are highly favored? No. I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. You don't see that, do you? No, no, sir. No, sir. He said, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Go ahead. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. The meek 
shall inherit the earth. Go ahead. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Uh-huh. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For, for they shall obtain mercy. Uh-huh. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. But you don't see the bites. You don't see the Lord said the ones that's blessed are highly favored, do you? Come on, brother. You know, a cliche. You know, that's, what, that's what those are called, cliches. But these cliches don't match up with the Bible, though. They don't even match up with what the Lord said, do they? Hmm. But he said, blessed are the meat. Blessed are the meat. Uh, uh, for they shall inherit the earth. Let's go now. Because this was written back in Psalms. Because I just want to show you that the prophets wrote uh, most of the things. Well, everything the apostle said pretty much the prophets wrote. Okay. Except when one of them say, well, you know, not the Lord said. Or the prophet said, but I say. You understand? But most of the stuff that they wrote, they got it from the prophets. Let's go to Psalms 132. Psalms 132. I'm sorry, Psalms 37. Psalms 37. I'm getting a little fired up. Come Psalms on, 37 and 7. Psalms 37 and 7. Everybody got it? <clears throat> Go ahead. Rest in the Lord. Uh-huh. And wait patiently for him. Go ahead. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Uh-huh. Because of the man whose bringeth wicked devices to pass. Go ahead. Cease from anger. And forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Uh huh. For evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Ooh, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait on the Lord, aren't we? Hallelujah. Despite all the opposition, we still going to wait on the Lord, aren't we? Teach. Go ahead and read. Right. Ten. Uh huh. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Uh huh. Yea. Thou shalt diligently consider his place. Go ahead. And it shall not be. Uh-huh. But the meek shall inherit the earth. But the meek shall inherit the earth. And this what the apostle wrote? Said the meek was, uh, the Lord wrote rather, the meek was going to inherit the earth. We got the apostle, I mean the prophet saying it right here. The meek shall inherit the earth. That's why we say to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, that is because there is no light in them. You know, y'all, that's all y'all believe in that old bit. No, we believe in a new book, too. So sit down and let me show you. Hallelujah. <laughs> that's all you got to do. Stop with that hearsay and let, let me show you. Amen. That we believe in both books. Yes. The meek shall inherit the earth. Go ahead. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Now, let's go now. Let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, 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 Second Peter, the uh, first chapter. 2 Peter, the first chapter. Because look at what Peter told you. 2 Peter 1, and we're going to pick it up in verse 16. 2 Peter 1 and 16. Look at what Peter told you. Everybody got it? Go ahead and read it. <coughs> Excuse me. For we have not... Follow cunningly devised fable. Now this is Peter. He wasn't apostle. He wasn't like he like he the one the Lord left the keys of the kingdom with. <laughs> you understand? Even when Paul went to Jerusalem, who did he go see? Peter. For we have no, we have not followed cunning devised fables. Go ahead. When we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. But were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Wait a minute, you mean these Jehovah's Witnesses right here? Indeed. <laughs> because before Jesus was called Jesus, he was called who? Jehovah. And this he said, we were eyewitnesses. This is Jehovah's Witnesses right here. Go ahead and read. 17. Uh-huh, I better leave people alone. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, sir. Seventeen. For he received from, for he received from God the Father honor and glory. Uh huh. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Go ahead. And this voice which came from heaven were heard when we were with him in the holy mount. Uh huh. 
We have also a more sure word of prophecy. We have also a more sure word of what? Prophecy. Prophecy. Ain't that the Old Testament? Indeed. You know, my brother, that's all y'all reason we read both Testament. Because we have why? Because we have a more sure word of prophecy. Now, why don't nobody read this? <laughs> you know, we New Testament Christians. You are. Well, the, the apostle right here said we have a more sure word of prophecy. I'm going to take his word for it. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going go over what Peter said. Go ahead and reread that over verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Uh-huh. Whereunto you do well that ye take heed. He said you do well if you take heed to the prophets. Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead and finish that. As unto a light that shine up in a dark place. Uh-huh. Until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart. Go ahead. That's that light that's got to rise in your heart. The word of God. Go ahead and read. Knowing this first. But you see where that light come from? The prophets. Hallelujah. The prophets. Go ahead and read. Knowing this first. That no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. You know, you believe the way you believe the Bible, and I believe the way I believe the Bible. No, sir. No, no, no sir. Like that. No prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation. Either you understand it or you not. That's it, brother. God, when he said the Holy Ghost, he said the Holy Ghost go lead and guide you into all truth, didn't he? Hallelujah. So he's not going to tell you one thing and tell another man another big thing and tell another man another thing, and now everybody got their own different interpretations. Then who telling the truth? It, it ain't but one. That's it, brother. Keep it simple. It's only one truth, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we got all these different stories, and maybe we ought to go back to the prophets and see what they say. Because mm. we have a more sure word of prophecy, don't we? Indeed. Everybody got Paul's right. Not everybody. But most Christians got Paul's right mixed up, don't they? Mm. <laughs> and Peter told you Paul's right is hard to be understood. Uh, those that are learned, they rested and they twisted to their own destruction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you better be very careful when you go up. And that's what main place people want to run to, ain't it? When they go to, when they want to try to say, do away with the law and do away with everything, they want to run to Paul's right, don't they? And that's the book that they told you that's hard to be understood, ain't it? That's why when I teach people, I don't go all the time to Paul's right, especially not first. I'm going to the master first. Come on. Then I get to Paul. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. Because the master is the one who called him. What verse you at? 21. Go ahead. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, uh -huh. but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. The holy men spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost was in the Old Testament too then, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Not just in the New Testament. Come on, brother. Yes, let's sir. go now. Let's go now. Let's go to uh let's go to uh uh let's go to Luke the ninth chapter. Let's go to Luke the ninth chapter and we're gonna pick it up at verse one. Luke nine and one. <coughs> Luke nine and one. Go ahead and read it. <clears throat> then he called his twelve disciples together uh -huh. and gave them power and authority over all the devils and to cure diseases. Now you see, he gave them power, or he gave them power and authority. Because that's what apostle means, though, isn't it? Yes, sir. One who is sent with power with authority, isn't it? Yes, sir. He gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Go ahead and read. Now that is really something, man. Yeah. Indeed. You know, cause you know, you see in some of those Indian movies, they got the chief and all this stuff. He's supposed to be the medicine man. He the medicine man is all right here. Right here, brother. Okay. Right here. Yes. Go ahead and read. And you could be one of these medicine men too, cause we gonna read you later about the power of healing. We are, we, we 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 believe that. Yes, we do. Go ahead and read. Verse two. Uh huh. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God. He sent them to preach what? The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, because that's what we're supposed to be preaching. Yes, sir. <laughs> the kingdom of God. Read that over. What verse you at? Two. Uh-huh. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and uh -huh. to heal the sick. And to heal the sick. Go ahead. Yes. And he said unto them, 
Take nothing for your journey, neither staff nor scribe, neither bread, neither money, uh -huh. neither have two coats apiece. Because, you know, you ain't got to take none of this stuff with you because I'm going to provide for you. You're talking about the God of the whole earth right here. He know how to provide all these things for his service, don't he? Especially his apostles. Go ahead and breathe. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Take nothing for your journey, neither staff nor script, neither uh -huh. bread, neither money, neither have two coats of peace, and whatsoever house you enter. Somebody need to tell these preachers these this right here. Come on. <laughs> so that's all they after is money, ain't it? He said, don't take no money with you, though, did he? Come on. Somebody need to tell, somebody need to read this to these preachers out here. Because that's all it's about. If money now, ain't it? Come on, brother. Go ahead and read. And whatsoever house ye enter into, uh -huh. there abide and thence depart. Go ahead. And whosoever will not receive you when ye go out of that house or that city, excuse me, shake off the very dust from your feet uh -huh. for a testimony against them. Uh -huh. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. And healing everywhere. And healing everywhere. Let's go now. Let's go, because you see what they were doing, preaching the gospel too. Right? They weren't just going here, they were preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Let's go now. Uh, uh, let's go to Matthew, the 10th chapter. Matthew 10. Matthew 10, and we're going to pick it up at verse 5. Matthew 10 and 5. That's why when we have our black history, we, we teach first. Then we uh, feed the people, don't we? We're going to preach to you. Whatever alley we have, we're going to do a little teaching first. Then we're going to feed you. Matthew uh, uh, 10th chapter. Matthew 10 and 5. Matthew 10 and 5. Go ahead and read. These twelve Jesus sent forth uh -huh. and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Uh, well, wait a minute. Uh, he said, Don't go in the way of the Gentiles. We know Gentiles, those are Caucasian people, right? Yes, sir. You're talking about black people here teaching. Come on. These are the if all apostles were black. All the prophets were black. Make it Jesus plain. was black. Make it plain, brother. Yes, sir. So you he telling his brothers here, so brothers, don't go in the way of the Gentiles. Now the brothers doing what? They going <laughs> in, the in the way of the Gentiles. Gentiles. <laughs> we supposed to be teaching them, they teaching us. Well, they ain't teaching us, no, but no, you know what I'm saying. Come on, yes, sir. Our people, oh, well, our on. people supposed to be teaching everybody else. We being taught by everybody else, mm -hmm. including the Gentile. Okay. Go ahead and read, though. Back at five. Uh-huh. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles, and uh -huh. into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Go ahead. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go ahead. And as ye go. See, contrary to popular belief, the Lord has sent the twelve out to teach the Gentiles or the rest of the world. He sent out Paul and Barnabas mm -hmm. to teach the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Not the other, not the twelve. Come on. Remember, Paul and Barnabas was not a part of the twelve, and we're gonna show you. They were not a part, they were not a part of the twelve. But he sent this 12 out and told them, go not in the way of the Gentile, but go rather to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go ahead and read. And as ye go, preach saying. Uh-huh. And as ye go, preach saying, uh -huh. the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Oh, that's what they went and preached to Israel? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Because that's what Jesus told them to go out and preach, didn't he? The coming of the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. And that's what we're supposed to be preaching. The coming of the kingdom of God. That's right, brother. Teach. Amen. That's what we're supposed to be teaching. That's what this is all about. You know, you and the preachers out here now, and I don't want to keep talking about them. And we ain't going to even mention the other religions. They ain't even teaching nothing about the coming of the kingdom of God. Because mm -hmm. the Lord is going to, he's going to shake this earth off its axles. Yes, yes, you understand yes, what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Ain't nobody standing in the gap and telling the people that the Lord is coming. And when he comes, he's going to tear this earth up. Mm -hmm. They might think that, you know, uh, the Lord's going to come and it's going to be all smooth and he's going to rapture people up and then the, then the people going to fight. No, it ain't going to no, be sir. like that. No, sir. When the Lord comes, all of, he gonna put that, he's going to lay it down and then all the fight going to be over with. It's written. It's written. 
He gonna have this man fighting against himself. Yes, then he, he come, he gonna uh, pour out his wrath on this earth. Then it's over with. That's it, brother. Plain. Ain't gonna be no more fighting. Make it plain. And as you go, preach saying the, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verse 8, go ahead. <clears throat> Heal the sick. Uh-huh. Cleanse the lepers. Go ahead. Raise the dead. Uh-huh. Cast out devils. Freely ye have received. Uh-huh. Freely give. Now, we know, we understand that the Lord told his apostles to go out healing and stuff, don't we? But you got this power, too. If you're walking in the word of God, you can have this power, too. Let's go now. Let's go to Psalms 132. Psalms 132. And we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Psalm 132 and 11. Because the prophets talk about the coming of the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. This is where the apostles got it from. You know, Jesus taught them, but then he the one who taught the prophets to write about the coming of the kingdom of God. Psalm 132. Psalm 132, and we're going to pick up in verse 11. Go ahead and read it. <clears throat> Verse 11. Uh -huh. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David. Uh -huh. He will not turn from it. Uh -huh. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. Wait a minute now. You see that? Mm -hmm. You see what God said? Of the fruit of David's body, he shall sit upon David's throne. Come on. Everybody catch that? Yes, sir. This is Jesus right here before he became Jesus. He was Jehovah at this time. He said, of the fruit of thy body will I sit upon thy throne. Go ahead and read. If thy children will keep my covenant and uh -huh. my testimony, uh -huh. then I shall teach them. Now, who, who is we talking about? He said, they're going to keep my covenant. That's the commandments, ain't it? Mm -hmm. And my testimony. That's the New Testament. Ain't it? Mm -hmm. Who gave you the New Testament? <laughs> Jesus did, didn't he? Make it plain. <laughs> the testimony of Jesus Christ. But go ahead and read them. Their children shall also sit upon thy throne uh -huh. forevermore. Now, what are we talking about? The coming of the kingdom of God, aren't we? Go ahead and read. For the Lord hath chosen Zion. He hath chosen the what? Zion. Where is Zion at? Jerusalem. Well, I thought you know when you were going to heaven. <laughs> Amen. He said, The Lord hath chosen Zion. So if you're trying to choose heaven, then you choose the wrong place then, aren't you? Yes, sir. Because Jesus, our Lord, said we're going to be right here in Zion on, on earth. the earth. On earth, brother. Read that again because somebody didn't get that. Yeah. Go ahead and read. For the Lord hath chosen Zion. Uh -huh. He hath desired it for his habitation. What is habitation? Live. This way we well. live, ain't it? Yes, sir. Read that next verse. This is my rest forever. This is my rest forever. Uh-huh. Here will I dwell. Go ahead. For I have desired it. I for this is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. How many times the Lord got to say something like this before somebody believe it? <laughs> before men are going to stop teaching that they going to heaven. How long has this got to be read to you before you're going to stop saying that? Uh, folklore. Because that's all it is, is folklore. Indeed. Hearsays. Let's go now. Let's go to Matthew, the 16th chapter. Matthew, the 16th chapter. Because now I'm going to show you the, who was the, really the head apostle. Well, after. Well, I ain't going <laughs> to. Don't spoil it. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Matthew 16. Who the Lord left in charge as the head apostle. Matthew 16, and we're going to pick it up in 